Good morning students. My name is Mohit and I am a mathematics teacher in Mount Vitra Z School, Jhansi. Today we will talk about fractions. What is fraction? What are fractions? So first of all I would like to introduce fractions. A fractions represent a part of the whole in a fraction the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator means it consists of two numbers that is numerator and denominator its form is numerator upon denominator so fraction is written in the form of numerator upon denominator for example if i say there are blocks one two three four five there are five blocks in out of five blocks three blocks are shaded for example like this one two and three it means the fraction of shaded portion is three by five so this is the fraction now the topic we will study about the fractions are like first type of fraction in fraction we will study about types of fractions comparing fractions operation of fractions so in this first lecture we will study about types of fractions now the types of fractions fractions are many types like like fractions unlike fractions proper fractions improper fractions equivalent fractions and mixed fractions now we will start we will talk about first like fractions then after unlike then proper then improper like this way so what are like fractions like fractions fractions based on denominator like fractions that have the same denominators means in fractions if the denominators are same they are said to be like fractions for example 1 by 7 3 by 7 5 by 7 and etc in these fractions you can see that denominators are same like 7 7 7 7 like this so these are like fractions now let's come to unlike fractions what are unlike fractions fractions that have different denominators example 2 by 5 3 by 8 7 by 9 etc etc you can see that the denominators are different this is 5 8 9 these all denominators are different so these fractions are known as unlike fractions now we will study types of fractions based on numerator so based on numerator there are two fractions that is proper fraction and second one is improper fraction so third type is proper fraction the numerator is smaller than denominator in which fraction in the in this fraction the numerator is smaller than denominator it means like 3 by 7 9 by 11 and 13 by 23 and etc etc so you can give many examples you can see that the numerator that is 3 is smaller than denominator that is 7 again 9 is smaller than 11 13 is smaller than 23 it means in these fractions numerator is smaller than denominator that's why these fractions are called proper fractions now what are improper fractions improper fractions the numerator is greater than the denominator means if the numerator is greater than denominator the fraction is said to be improper for example 11 by 13 8 by 3 19 by 6 15 by 7 17 by 5 there are so many examples you can see that numerator is greater than denominator again numerator is greater than denominator so these fractions are improper fractions now we will talk about the next one that is other types of fractions so first is the fifth part is equivalent fractions what are equivalent fractions either multiplying or dividing both the numerator and the denominator means if we multiply any number either multiply or either divide in any of the, the numerator and the denominator both so we will get the equivalent fraction for example this is 1 by 3 if we multiply in both numerator and denominator like 2 so it will get 2 by 6 2 1s are 2 and 2 3s are 6 
so this is equivalent fraction of 1 by 3 similarly we can further multiply this number by 2 or by 3 or by 4 in numerator and denominator both any number which which uh, uh, what number you have to multiply you can multiply whatever number like 2 by 6 if i multiply by 2 we will get another equivalent number like 4 by 12 or you can multiply 1 by 3 by 3 also by 4 also by 5 6 7 so on any number which you want to multiply or by divide so 1 by 3 multiply multiply 3 and 3 so it will get 3 by 9 so this is also an equivalent fraction now if I say why don't we why don't we divide by uh, equivalent fractions to get equivalent fraction why don't we divide by any number yes you can divide also if you divide by 3 in this num in this number you will again get the same number like this so 3 3 1 3 1 is a 3 and 3 3 is a 9 now let's come to the mixed fraction mixed fraction these are obtained by a combination of whole numbers and proper fractions for example if I say 1 plus 1 by 2 this is whole number and 1 by 2 is proper fraction as you already know that in proper fraction the numerator is a smaller than denominator so the mixture of these numbers are mixed fraction for example 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 we get is the fraction which is improper by get, by which we get improper by whole number and the proper fraction but you know that you can write that one whole one by two right we can write it one whole one by two like this one whole one by two it means this two is multiplied by one and the multiplication is added to this numerator like two ones are two one into two you can write it one to two plus one and denominator will get same 2 so it can get 2 1s are 2 plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 so this is the form of mixed fraction another example is 3 holes 2 by 5 so 3 plus 2 by 5 that is 3 into 5 plus 2 upon 5 again we get the 17 by 5 improper so this is the form of a mixed fraction I hope you like the videos so all the best student.